Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. Today marks the one year anniversary of not uploading on this channel. Wow. And basically what we have today is a ThinkPad X230, 3rd Gen i5, 16GB of RAM, and a 500GB SSD. Over here we got a power supply, a 600 watts, that's going to be powering this little bad boy right here, if you know what I mean. This is a 980Ti, and I think this one is the best looking one. I absolutely love how it looks. And in order to put this into here and that into there, we need this stuff right here, an eGPU adapter. Specifically, the Express card. Alright, so now that everything is connected, we can see that the 980Ti is coming up under the device manager with the correct drivers installed as well. So here's the moment of truth. Will it work? Will it not? Let's find out. Here's the uh, checklist and it seems like I've got everything except for the graphics driver, which should be a pretty easy fix. Screw mixed reality. Let's go and plug in the Oculus. Okay, next, skip, quest, continue, and now the moment of truth. Will this adapter work on this laptop? The cable that we're using, or we're going to be trying to use, is the official Oculus Quest PCVR cable. Get, of course, power on the headset. Oh, I see there's a check mark on the computer. Nice. Okay, so everything is looking very warpy, but I am recording now, and you can see that things are kind of weird and wobbly and watery. All right, so I'm having some issues right now and uh, it's not detecting. It could possibly be because I tripped over the cable and I kind of slightly just bent it just a tiny bit and um, now it's not working. And we are in. So first thing to notice is that it is running. The frame rate on that uh, fire is pretty nice, but that's because it's not really rendered in 3D, it's just 2D sprites. This is running fine, the tracking is actually not going on on the left hand because it ran out of battery, but we'll get back to that. Uh, I'll fix it up, but you'll notice that here things are just weird. They're wobbling, they're warping, I don't know what's going on. And the frame rate on my hand is just definitely not 60. Okay, so, so far so good. I gotta say, everything here looks really good, really clean. And I got no problems, tracking is fine. So let's go to home. I honestly cannot complain. I thought it was going to be pretty bad because of the initial start and how things were warping in front of me. It doesn't look too bad. So far, so good. No complaints whatsoever. Everything looks pretty damn good. Okay, except for that, you can see some lag. It's almost like the Oculus software notices that the CPU is being packed, so it drops the frame rates on certain things, like, uh, like objects, like this. The actual movement of my head is 60 FPS, so the environment is being rendered at 60, but the things inside of it that you interact with are not rendering fully, at least most of the time. But again, I won't know until I test it out again on my 1080Ti 8700K PC. So I'm gonna download some games, actual games, and uh, we'll see how they run on the setup. So we'll be back in just a bit. Hard. Now I'm having some trouble clicking for some reason, not too sure why. And the performance, yeah, it's, it's not great, but the visual quality, it's impressive, I have to say, it's pretty damn good. I'm definitely getting frame drops though. <laughs> Is it better than the uh, Nola VR? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty good, I would say, but very laggy and my head is starting to hurt. Something I didn't have an issue with when I first unboxed this headset. Wow. All right, so the conclusion. Is this a viable option and should you do it? 
Well, let's first talk about what greatly impressed me, and that would be the Oculus Link feature. And over time, Oculus have worked hard on this thing and made it work really, really nicely with two main updates that I've noticed in this experiment. With the first one being how great the image looks now. I have to say it looks pretty fantastic, very convincing. It almost looks like I'm running on direct hardware, except I'm not, I'm running through type C. But that being said, it is really, really good. Even with this bottleneck setup, now the other thing I really appreciate about a recent update for the Oculus Link, and that would be the support for cables. Originally when this thing came out you had problems with what cables you use. In most cases you had to get a really high quality cable or you had to get the official Oculus cable, which was pretty expensive. And this laptop only having 3.0, I was able to use this adapter which originally did not work on my main computer. But now it works flawlessly and I had no issues whatsoever. Which reminds me of how bad mixed reality is. It's been a couple years now and they still have not fixed it. It is still not a plug and play experience. As you guys saw, the checklist was perfectly fine for the mixed reality, except for some weird driver issue. But thankfully we did toss it away and tried it on the Oculus Link and saw how well it works. So with that said, I'll definitely revisit the Oculus Link with my main computer and see how it is compared to this setup. Speaking of a setup, should you do it? Well, it's gonna mostly depend on what laptop you have. That is the first thing I can think of because if you have a laptop that is not good enough, it's not gonna be good enough. You need at least a four core Intel CPU preferably third generation and above. What we have here is a third gen i5 M series CPU with two cores, four threads at 3.2 gigahertz. And that was just enough to get this thing running. Realistically, it wasn't doing all that well because the CPU was at 100% at all times while the GPU was chilling at around 40 to 60%, which if I were to make a sequel to this video, I would try it out on a four core eight thread CPU, a fourth gen i7 CPU that also has an express card. But with that being said guys, that is all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, do let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you want to follow up video, do let me know. Suggestions and comments are all welcome. And I'll see you guys next year. With a joke. Maybe. Woof woof. <laughs>